Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be revealing the results of my 30 day skincare challenge using just products from The Ordinary. The Ordinary is a Canadian brand. I've made that mistake before in my full face of British makeup tutorial, which you can watch right here, just in case you forgot. I said that The Ordinary is a British brand. It's actually a Canadian brand. They are cruelty free and they keep it free simple that's what I love about the whole brand Desium actually there are so many brands under Desium and one of the most uh, cult popular brands is The Ordinary which I'm going to be heavily focusing on today what I like about their products is that they don't have flashy fancy names like the glow getter serum the pore minimizer they just have the name of their main ingredient on their bottle 30 percent vitamin c 20 percent vitamin c advanced retinoid two percent it's not called the miracle anti-wrinkle cream but this also intimidates a person who's new to the whole skincare game but this makes you study key ingredients it makes you study your skin and then you make more educated choices of what is good for your skin and that in turn gives you an amazing skin because you're gonna pick and choose the ingredients that your skin wants by the end of 30 days i figured out what my skin likes and the routine that is working for me and i want to share the whole shebang with you and also this video comes in such a funny time because the Desium brand owner just announced that he's gonna shut down all of their brands for two months because of I don't know what. But if you wanna stock up on some of the products that I'm gonna be talking about today, you might you might want to do that. Let me break down the skincare routine that I adapted. Let's start with the morning routine now. I started my morning routine with the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Activator. Now this is a brilliant product for anti-aging, brightening and plumping your skin. So if you are 25 and above, this will be just perfect in your skincare routine. But this also reminded me so much of the Claire's Midnight Youth Activator Serum, which I reviewed in my Minimal Korean skincare video. You, but this really really works wonders when you purchase this product you get two little bottles and then you have to mix the serum together and then use it up within 30 days or something like that because that's how potent these ingredients are and it really works and then I proceeded with the Neod multi molecular hyaluronic complex which is just Neod's version of hyaluronic acid and then I just moisturized my skin on most days with the 100% plant derived squalane just like two drops of this to moisturize my whole entire face. The days that I stepped out into the sun, I finished off with sunscreen and the days that I stayed at home, I did not apply anything else on top. And I did not apply the oil every single day. I applied just a regular moisturizer on some days. And during my evening routine, I had a different routine every alternate day. On day one, I used the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. On a cotton round, I wiped down my whole face with this and then proceeded with the same copper amino isolate serum followed by the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex i finished all of this off with the rose hip oil from the ordinary i know this is a lot i list them all down on the side right here for you and go into detail of everything i just want to first tell you the skincare routine that i followed for the 30 days and on day two for my night routine i would go straight into the advanced retinoid two percent and this is the very first time i'm using retinoid i've always been very very intimidated very very scared of anything with retinoid in it and i've had a very very good experience with this and the days that i use the retinoid uh, solution i did not use any serum i did not use any oil i did not use anything else on my skin just this simple as that for my under eyes i used the caffeine solution five percent plus egcg solution which is supposed to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness in the beginning of the month, I also used the vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone, but I was just not like falling in love with it. So I stopped using this like by the midpoint of my experiment, but I've used this enough in the past to give you a full in-depth review anyway. So I'll get into that. And I also completely used up the hyaluronic acid 2% serum plus B5 from The Ordinary. These are the products that I used up. And for my neck from Neod, I also use the Neck Elasticity Catalyst, which comes in a jar like this. 
And for my hands, I use the Extreme Hydration Concentrate from the Chemistry brand. Now, these are all the products that I use. This could be very confusing if you are new to skincare and if you're new to my channel. Uh, so if you want a step-by-step -step breakdown on what skincare to follow, a skincare routine, please, I recommend you watch this video right here. Now I'm going to go into my detailed review of all the products that I just mentioned. Let's first talk about the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning solution when I receive this product guys I want you to know that you're not alone if you feel scared or intimidated about a particular skincare product I didn't know what is this acid I didn't know what it would do to my skin I thought it would be too strong so I did my research and I realized that this is very similar to the mandelic acid that I used in my Korean skincare routine and I gave it a shot of course product like glycolic acid it's called an active ingredient so you have to use it only in the evening and anytime you use an acid make sure that the next day morning you apply your sunscreen very thoroughly and very evenly because your skin reacts very badly uh, to the sun uh, when you use active ingredients on your face and also another thing to note is that you shouldn't mix up active ingredients like vitamin C retinoid glycolic acid you can't use all these together you have to separate them out on different days I'm very happy with this one I'll give you a full in-depth comparison between the pixie one and this on my Instagram IG stories if you want let me know in the comments down below this has a pH of 3.6 which I love that they mention all these you have to keep in mind the pH of your skin the pH of the products you're applying you should always go from the lowest pH to the highest pH when you are layering skincare anyways guys we'll go into all of that in later videos I really like this product it evened out my skin tone it got rid of my whiteheads and blackheads evened out the texture of my skin kind of you know smoothened out my fine lines and wrinkles that's what acids do and this did a very good job at it next I've got the caffeine solution 5% for under eyes I have made a DIY version of this a couple of years ago if you'd like to see that you can click right here this I definitely feel like reduced my under eye dark circles to an extent but also keep in mind that under eye circles can have a lot of other factors like sleep and stress and all of that but at this point after 30 days of using this my under eye circles are much much lighter but you can also try the DIY version now the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 this again was a good product but it was slightly sticky on my face and it also when you like blend it into your skin it was turning milky or slightly foamy I don't know why yeah so if I have to compare it with the Neod multi-molecular hyaluronic complex I prefer the Neod one that brings me to the Neod hyaluronic acid I really 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 loved it it quickly absorbed into my skin it's less stringy and thick than the ordinary one the copper amino isolate serum like I mentioned in the beginning of the video <laughs> I'm in love with this. It is extremely similar to the Claire's Midnight Youth Activator and it even performs extremely, extremely similar. I'm not sure about the ingredients and stuff. If you want a quick boost in your skin, this is what you need to be getting. We've got the 100% plant-derived squalene. Basically, squalene is an oil that is naturally produced on your skin. That is what is amazing to regulate your oil production. So this is an oil that can be used by people with dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, combination skin. So I found that this is amazing to hydrate my skin. Alrighty, next up is the Neod Neck Elasticity Catalyst. I was sold on it saying this is what Nigella Lawson uses on her neck and I was like oh please give it to me another thing guys, I love that their packaging is so simple so lab like um, I did not find any drastic improvement in the way my neck looks but I always felt good after applying it I felt like my neck is being taken care of if that makes any sense so I believe this gives more of a preventive measure from aging next up I have the vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone now I wanted to love this product so much guys if you saw my Indian skincare challenge from last month you remember what I told you about the plum mattifying sunscreen it balls up on the face that's what this does so this is suspended in a lot of heavy silicon so that they stabilize vitamin C when vitamin C is you know mixed with other things it actually goes bad in like three months but when it is suspended in silicone it actually stays okay when you see a vitamin C which comes out yellow that means it's gone bad throw it out but 
The problem is, since it's in silicon, I can still feel the gritty vitamin C powder in there. You can taste it. So I know it's very powerful. It will work, but it just balled up on my skin. I couldn't spread it out evenly. And I read online that applying the vitamin C after the hyaluronic acid really helps it, but it did not. Both of them just like mixed into some weird muddy white thing on my face. It looked like I had dry patchy skin, which is just balling off my face or it was not good guys and later trial and error i found out that applying the vitamin c after you have the squalene oil on your face really works i've tried it with all sorts of other oils but the squalene these two really work so if you'd like to give this a try uh try it with this combination and also when you apply foundation on top if you're gonna buff your foundation this vitamin C underneath is gonna ball up, you know? I mean, I just didn't want that, <laughs> so. But if you ask me, there are a lot of other better vitamin C products in the market. Next up, I've got the chemistry brand, Extreme Hydration Concentrate, like a protective hydration glove for hands. I am someone who washes their hands like every five minutes and I've got really really dry hands because of that I was told that this is like wearing a protective moisturizing glove and I, I it wasn't it felt very silicone-y and uh, it didn't give me that kind of hydration that just like a regular Johnson's cream would give or like a Nivea cream would give. So this I was actually really disappointed in. Next up I've got the Advanced Retinoid 2%. When you start on a retinoid treatment, you have to start really low because your skin has to get used to it and you don't apply it every day. You apply it like once a week in the beginning and then you move on to twice a week and then you know every alternate day is enough. I really like it. Once again, it shrinks your pores, it smooths out your fine lines it's got enough moisturizing property also that you don't have to layer on a hundred different pro like at least for me if you love layering go ahead finally i've got the organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil i love this it just smells very organic and like a garden and like oil you know it has that oil smell but rose hip seed oil has so many skin benefits it gets rid of your hyperpigmentation hydrates your skin God, maybe i can do another video on that and i really really love this product i really feel that by the end of this month i had the best skin of my life and that is because I understood what these are and what my skin needs. I did not take a before shot this month but I do have an after shot this month. So as you can see, my pores are minimized, my hyperpigmentation is minimized. Uh, just ignore that pimple on the side, it's that another month, you know, it happens. It's okay, we're human. When I speak about all these products, I know that I sound like I've been doing this heavy skincare ritual every single day. That's not the case. I've been lazy many, many days. And starting today, I'm going to be starting my 30-day challenge with this Indian brand called Neemly. I'm so excited to try that. So next month, I shall catch you once again for a before and after reveal of a 30-day skincare challenge. If there is any other brand that you'd like me to review, put them down in the comment section. I shall try to get my hands on them. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video, guys. All the videos right down below. You can go ahead, click, click, and enter the world of Mr. J. Yeah, and I shall see you in my next one.